Again, the goal is to limit the endocrine disruptors, not necessarily remove all of them. Hey man, Gary Walker here, and welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm gonna explain what endocrine disruptors are and how they affect men over 40. After turning 30, male testosterone levels begin to decline by up to 2% every year. But there are some studies that show this has very little to do with age, and instead it has more to do with an increase in something called endocrine disruptors. So in today's video, I'll tell you more about what endocrine disruptors are and how they affect men over 40. Endocrine disruptors are natural or man-made chemicals that may interfere with your body's natural production of hormones. These chemicals are linked with developmental, reproductive, brain, immune, and other problems. Even low doses of endocrine disrupting chemicals may be unsafe. The endocrine system is a complex network of glands that produce and release hormones, which play an important role in controlling various important body functions. For men, when we talk about endocrine disruptors, we're talking about chemicals that mostly interfere with your body's natural production of testosterone. Generally speaking, endocrine disruptors lower testosterone levels, man. Low T levels can lead to a lot of unwanted side effects, such as loss of muscle mass and strength low sex drive, an increase in body fat, and even depression. I'm gonna share three different endocrine disruptors you need to limit if you want to improve your testosterone production. The first is pesticides. A lot of the produce we eat has been sprayed with pesticides that contain endocrine disruptors. The pesticides contain xenoestrogens that mimic estrogen when ingested. Meaning, when we eat these fruits and veggies, it can lead to elevated estrogen levels. The solution is to eat organic as often as you can. Chances are less likely they've been sprayed with endocrine disrupting pesticides. The second endocrine disruptor we're going to talk about is toothpaste. Every name brand toothpaste you see on store shelves is packed with endocrine disruptor chemicals and are linked to lower testosterone and other guy problems, man. Chemicals like triclosan, fluoride, spearmint, and peppermint can all lower testosterone. And here's the thing, even a lot of the natural toothpaste products contain lavender oil and tea tree oil, which is linked to man boobs, man. And here's something you probably didn't know. The average person swallows 7% of their toothpaste every time they brush their teeth. This may not seem like a lot to you, but it can do major damage to your T levels. Here's a solution I recommend you use. I personally started using a new toothpaste brand from men called Legendary Men's Care. There's no testosterone killing chemicals in this stuff. No endocrine disruptors. It's natural and does everything the toothpaste you're currently using does just without the hormone disrupting crap in it. All right, we've left a link in the description below so you can try it out for yourself if you want. Use coupon code ANABOLIC10 at checkout and that way you can save an extra 10% off. All right, now for the third endocrine disruptor on my list, fragrances. I'm talking about fragrances in cologne, body wash, deodorant, and shaving cream. These fragrances also contain endocrine disruptors that can lower T levels. Chances are you use these on a regular basis. It's hard to find a solution here, man. After all, you wanna look good and smell good. So, for the most part, you may have to bite the bullet on this one. Don't wear cologne unless you're going out. Try to use natural bars of soap instead of fragrant body washes. Little changes like that can help a little bit. Again, the goal is to limit the endocrine disruptors, not necessarily remove all of them. Unfortunately, endocrine disruptors are found in a ton of everyday products, so it's almost impossible to completely remove all of them. Well, with that being said, thanks for watching my video, and as always, get busy, man, get after it, and God bless.